The only way that we can hold the boggy lowlands around Falkirk is to build a castle and as many walls as we can construct in a short time. These fortifications will serve to protect our camp as we construct siege weapons with which to assault the English castle. Once the castle is constructed, Wallace himself is sworn to join our forces. Together, we will attack Longshanks and his English troops. The English could attack at any time. You have some walls already, but you should complete them as soon as you have enough stone. Also build towers to defend your city. Units can garrison within a tower for defense and protection, and archers can even fire out of a tower. If you have surplus resources of one type, you can sell them for gold at your market. You can then use the gold to buy what you need. To build a castle, you must first advance to the next age, the Castle Age. The advanced buttons let you set combat states for your soldiers. A defensive soldier will be less likely to attack an enemy that comes near you. Click a military unit, then note the combat stance buttons in the lower left corner of the screen. Using the advanced buttons, you can also command a soldier to patrol an area between two points and guard or follow another unit. Kid, 
Margaret. The advanced buttons allow access to a new type of formation. For example, with a box formation, you can protect a weak unit, such as a monk. Have enough resources to go to the castle in here. You should do that soon. Erlov, bit fear, bit fear. Kid? Erlov, bit feed fear. Get 
Target it. Congratulations! You're going to find lots of things to do in the Castle Age. For starters, try building a siege oh shop to make battering rams and other siege weapons. Here. Good job. With your new siege workshop, you can make battering rams. Rams are slow, but they are resistant to arrow fire and excellent at knocking down walls. You may need some rams to attack the English castle. You may need to assign extra villagers to gather stone, so you'll have enough to build the castle and all the fortifications you need. Great. You have completed the castle. Sir William should be here soon, and then it will be time to attack the English. Wallace has come. One of your most powerful units is created at the castle. Create ten more wood raiders. William Wallace and his ward raiders on your side. The English may be in trouble. Once you have a large army with plenty of siege weapons, go destroy the English castle.
enough. Kid, tall. Margaret, tall. Bit tall. Fear. Avalov. Bit fear. Margaret, tall. Margaret. Bit fear. Tall. Avalov. Bit tall. fear. Tall. 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 Bit fear. Tall. Bit fear, tall. Bit fear, tall. Bit fear, tall. Bit fear, tall. Castle at Falkirk is no more. The English pretensions in Scotland are surely at an end. The forces of Wallace are triumphant. 
It looks certain that we would be defeated at Falkirk. Yet somehow, though outnumbered and outranged by English longbows, we were victorious. The English castle was torn down, and a Scottish one shall be built in its place. William Wallace has shown us the path to victory. Although he is but one man, he inspires great deeds in others. Many of the Scottish knights and lords have drawn their swords with his. Wallace's own sword is a five and a half foot beast, forced of course in Scotland. He has sworn not to rest until his sword finds the neck of Edward Longshanks. The struggle will continue, for we have learned the ways of war. Now, it is the English who fear.